The interview you're about to watch was filmed just before New Jersey's Essex County College finally turned over documents related to the firing of Professor Lisa Durden. Fire sued Essex County College because they ignored our multiple open records requests about Lisa's case. Turns out they had a reason to. Those documents show the school wasn't inundated, as they say, with feedback from students, faculty, and prospective students about Lisa's interview on Fox News, which you're about to see, the school had decided to take action on the case before they ever heard from a single member of the public. Lisa's attorney now tells the Associated Press that her client plans to sue. Now enjoy our interview with Professor Lisa Durden, and then head on over to thefire.org for more on her case and the latest on all your free speech, due process, and civil liberties news. Hi everybody, we are here at FIRE's Philadelphia headquarters today with the one and only Lisa Durden. Lisa Durden, producer, political commentator, and former adjunct professor at New Jersey's Essex County College. You might remember Lisa's story from earlier this summer when Essex fired her after this very contentious interview on Fox News's Tucker Carlson tonight. A Black Lives Matter group in New York City threw a Memorial Day party and barred anyone who was not black from attending. Lisa Durden is a political commentator and Black Lives Matter supporter. She joins us tonight. I was confused by this because I thought the whole point of Black Lives Matter would be to speak out against singling people out on the basis of their race and punishing them. Boo hoo hoo. You white people are angry because you couldn't use your white privilege card, whoa, whoa. but you've been having white day forever. You don't say the words anymore because you know it's politically incorrect. But you've had an all-white Oscars, all-white TV shows with, with white cast over and over and over again. It took 11 seasons to have a black bachelorette. Okay. Are you serious? It's, it's hard. So Black Lives Matter, in that same vein, decided to get together with black folks. I'm not going to let you filibuster past my to question. To make sure that black on, folks were celebrated for being murdered. I don't, I don't Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Today. I must make a correction. Okay. I'm a professor. Professor. I've made the decision that I will not allow people to call me a former professor because I earned that credential. But I know that it was technically true. But I'm just going to call myself Professor Lisa Durden. How about professor that? Professor Lisa Durden. <laughs> I am all about that. That interview was absolutely nuts. When <laughs> you walked out of that studio mm -hmm. that day, can you take us through the next yeah. two weeks? So I've been on Fox for at least two years as a contributor, so it was nothing new. But by day two, what was surprising to me was being marched into HR once I walked into the building of Essex County College in Newark. One of the administrators accosted me and said, I need to take you to HR. So I said to him, HR? I said, am I being fired? He said, I think so. So you know how you hear this music in your head, like dun dun dun, dun like monster music? I'm li literally not thinking it was the Tucker Carlson appearance. I'm just not thinking that because I, they hired me knowing that I appear on many shows and as a media professional, I talk about subjects that matter. Well, so what I find so interesting, especially about the fact that when you went on Tucker, you're talking about the Black Lives Matter sure. movement. Essex is, in its own words, a black and Hispanic serving institution mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about those parallels there and maybe, I guess, just your passion for the Black Lives Matter <laughs> movement? I mean, they seem to be proving that maybe what you were saying on Fox is at a minimum a topic of, right. of public concern. Well, um, progressive academics like myself must speak out where there's public discourse. That is the thing called freedom of speech. Now. As a black person, I mean, of course I'm okay with the fact that you have an organization like Black Lives Matter that stands up for the rights of black people, but I wasn't on the show because of a member. I'm on Tucker Carlson talking about a political issue that was surrounding an organization that happened to be there to fight for the rights of black people. What people don't understand is they reached out to Black Lives Matter, but they refused to come on the show. The Tucker Carlson show was going to talk about that incident anyway. When I got the call from the producer, I gave it much thought. Do I want to be on this show talking about Black Lives Matter on Memorial Day? Like, how ugly is that going to be? But I felt like if I didn't do it, they would have some idiot on there. You know, they love to have these blacks on there that feed the stereotype. So I felt like 
I didn't want to see that once again. So that was important to me. I wanted to let my voice be my, my um, activism. Do you miss being an educator? What is the loss for you right now? Well, bigger than loss for me, what is the loss for the students? Most colleges kill for professors that are actually working professionals. Bing, 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 opportunities. Because why are you in college to turn around and get a job in your field? And so they lose the opportunity to work with someone like me because you have access right there. I'm not the loser, they're the loser. That school, Essex County College, clearly doesn't care about their students. Can we talk for a minute about internet trolls? Oh, and Jesus. Do you think that the way that public discussion goes down on the internet mm -hmm. in the, the time it takes these days um, to, to get an outrage mob going, for example, do you think that is good for society, bad for society? What are your thoughts? I mean, it's, it's not a good or bad thing, it's what it is, but I will say this. <laughs> the color of free speech is white. Let me say that again. The color of free speech is white. Tell me more about that. Now, just in case we have some racist trolls, I'm not saying that when white people use their voice and speak out, nothing happens to them. Of course, something happens to you if people don't like it, you get trolls. But when white people speak out, in whatever way, let's talk about the president, up against the black counterpart, it can't be compared. And people ask, well, why do you go on Fox, especially some African-Americans? Because it's, I, I, I akin it to sitting at the Woolworth counter, right? We were not allowed to be at the counter at Woolworth to eat food. So we felt that was unfair. So what did we do? We sat at the Woolworth counter. Some of us got dragged, hosed, and beaten until one day we were able to legally sit there. So I akin going to Fox to sitting at the Woolworth counter. So that's why I went uh, and I accepted the offer to appear on the show to talk about Black Lives Matters right to an intentional uh, safe space. Do you have a renewed commitment to things like academic freedom mm -hmm. and oh, freedom of speech more generally now that, you have <laughs> now that you have lived this in a very personal oh, way? Oh my God, yes. So in the early aftermath of the suspension and firing, I was in the fetal position, you know, with my thumb in my mouth and like, oh, 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 I'm fired, oh, mommy, when she's dead, daddy, oh, he's crazy. You know, so initially no one wants to feel that pain. So, you know, the trolls are very loud. So by the hundreds, I had trolls calling me everything but the child of God. Asshat was the funniest thing I was called. So certain trolls I answered back, certain trolls I didn't. So when one troll called me an asshat, I had to laugh. I said, asshat, that's good funny. on you, sir. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have a security in yourself, you start to believe or start to question why you did it and you shouldn't have done that. I'm like, oh, God. What? They called me a racist? But, you know, I, what? How did you find that security again? This became a national conversation. So I was renewed because I said, okay, more people loved me speaking out than hated me speaking out. You know, people say, well, are you gonna teach again? But here's the thing, there's no hiding. You know exactly what you're getting, you know who I am. So now I'm gonna feel a renewed sense of freedom when I walk into the next classroom because they're gonna be so happy to say, they, Professor Lisa Durden standing here and she's proud to teach us as students how to stand for ourselves. This is what colleges and universities were all about back in the 60s. Something got lost. So I feel very good that when the opportunity comes again, I will do it again the same way. Boo, who, who. <laughs> and can I say this? Yes, ma'am. Can I really say this? We're um, free speech people. You can say whatever. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, exactly. That's right. <laughs> fire! Fire, fire, fire! So um, about a week ago, um, we were going to have this big storm, you know, in New Jersey. And so I'm single, I have no food in the house. I said, let me just go get some food. So I ran out the house and went and got some food. When I came back to the house and I turned on my computer and I looked at the email, the, the best thing that had happened to me at that time in 2018 was the email I got from FIRE. No, you just don't understand. That makes me so happy to hear. Talking about the lawsuit you guys waged. And I'm thinking, there are people in this country like FIRE who not only care to make sure we respect and preserve the right for people to speak, but more importantly, people in academia to speak, which is where it should be embraced. That makes me so no, We have an awesome team here awesome. at FIRE working pretty much around the clock to mm -hmm. make sure that faculty, students, people on college campuses around the That's country important. have the right to free speech. We don't take a position on mm -hmm 
on speech itself, but we think right. that everybody should be able to take their own position. No, that is amazing. When I say amazing, I mean it. <laughs> you tell it like it is. So I believe I you, you when you say that. Thank you so much, Lisa <laughs> Durden. It was my it. pleasure to have you with us today. So thank awesome, you so much. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. What do you guys think? Good? Awesome. Ah, you are so good.